Babe, give it to me. Yep. Stay down, dude. Thank you. Boom. Vito, there's something else. It's Mama. What do you mean? What about her? She's sick, Vito. We just gotta clean these two. The other one, that one toilet over here in the stall was completely freaking. What's the matter? Are you serious? Cleaning or else. I just cleaned that, dude. Dude, he looks like a. He's built like an Eminem. Okay. I'm about to. I'm about to. I guess you want it rough. I'm about to beat your ass, Eminem boy. <laughs> oh, what's going on, with Johnny? And welcome back to Mafia 2 Definitive Edition. I think we last left off. We went to prison. Um, they caught us trying to get the uh, gas stamps that we stole from the what was it? Some like federal agency or something like that. Some kind of federal building. Um, we also killed like three people. So time was spent. Chapter six. It'll Italy, February twenty sixth, nineteen forty five. Oh, sweet. We're actually going to see the entire thing again. All right, cool. Vito Scaletta? Yeah? What's it to you? You're under arrest for the illegal distribution of federal ration stamps. Ration stamps, that's what You're it was. coming with us. Well, they said we use it for gas, so... One of the gas station attendants ratted me out. The guy fingered me and they strung on Mama into telling him where I was staying. But they had no idea who I was working for and I wasn't about to tell them. <clears throat> now you'd die if you told them about the Mafia. Henry was able to get me a lawyer courtesy of his boss Clementi. I was up Shit's Creek, but at least I had a battle. Could have been a hell of a lot worse if the feds knew about any of my other activities. to be even more serious. Considering the fact that you stole national resources at a time when our country needs them the most. An act the gravity of which you, Mr. Scaletta. The guy was good, but even he couldn't get me out of this one. It was a lost cause from day one. Three months later, they handed down the verdict. Vittorio Antonio Scaletta. For your crimes against the people of this city and of this great country. This court hereby sentences you to 10 years in a federal Oof. penitentiary. Going to prison. <clears throat> also, if you guys are new, make sure you guys do, you, you do the YouTube thing, like, comment, subscribe, show your friends. Uh, we'll be running through a lot of series here soon. Just completed Doom, Eternal. We're doing Mafia. We're finishing up Model War 2 campaign, remastered. Man Eater is going to be starting very, very soon. Cyberpunk's coming up in, 20, in September. Blah, blah, blah. All kinds of things, man. All kinds of things. You like what you like? Or like what you see? Thieves, murderers, Do child it. molesters, they were all here. The worst of the worst. All right, get in line, gentlemen. Follow me, single file. And no monkey business, or else. I couldn't imagine. Look at him, dude. This one intimidate you. Look at all of them. <laughs> okay, guy, calm back down. Oh. Let's go, assholes! You want to make problems, you son of a bitch? I, I'm sorry. What's the matter? No speaking to English? Here, let me teach you. What do you enjoy this, you sick fuck? Now, get your ass up and get no, back please. in line. No. no. Hey, smartass, don't make me repeat myself. Back in line. I didn't say anything. I literally didn't even say anything. I can't be as smart as I didn't say anything. Move it. 
trying to prove their authority. That's all that is. All that is. But you're so much better than all of us. You got a hat on. Shut up. Stop right there. Turn to your right. Your other right. Listen up, assholes. <coughs> my name is Captain Terrence Stone, and this is my prison. You're here on the inside because you can't behave like normal Give human Hitler beings stash, dude. on the outside. Make no mistake. Your ass belongs to me now. And you'll do what I say, or you'll be sorry that you did it. Look at Taylor Fuck stash. with me, and I'll fuck with your sorry ass all day long. You were sent here to be rehabilitated, and rehabilitate you. We will. Okay, you assholes. We're gonna cut you loose just long enough to get you cleaned up. Now get in line and follow me. Okay. Welcome to the salon, I've got all ladies. Hair. You're gonna look just fucking beautiful. Hey, me too? I ain't got nothing on my head to cut. Shut your face, cue ball. Okay. You can't move. Okay, <clears throat> let's go. Hey, shit for brains. Do what you fucking told. All right, may the guards will proceed down the corridor. Corridor. We're probably gonna do a chapter of video because if I do anything longer than that, it takes me like 12 hours to upload uh, for like an hour video. So I'm hoping I could just kind of run through it pretty quickly and then get it done. Follow the guard. Can't really, I can't really run this, so <clears throat> they gotta go slow. Okay. Let's keep going. I can smell you, new fish. Shut up. Welcome home. Get in. Working on it. Is to get a window? Is you gotta frickin' use the bed in your cell. Use bed. <clears throat> at least you got a window. At least you can like kind of look outside. You know. I did. Is that a rat? This is gonna be my new home for the next ten years. Look like shit and smell like piss. I would have preferred dodging bullets in Europe to this. Of course. Three days later. After three action-packed days of staring at the wall, <coughs> I got a message from Joe to contact a guy named Leo Galante, who could supposedly help me out in here. This wasn't the kind of place where you could survive on your own. Factual. Okay. Contact Leo Galante. Who's Leo Galante? You're counting it in days? How much is it in the air? Who the hell is Leo Galante? I know you. You're that fucking guinea who was with Bobber in a jewelry store. I'm in this fucking hell hell because of you. You got locked up because you're a stupid, crazy fuck. <laughs> you know, fellas, my mom was right. There is a god! <laughs> and he I'm about to punch him on a stupid face, aren't I? Genny bastard. So that I could pay you back! Guarantee it. I think that, that, old, that old guy is uh, him, isn't it? Bit. I'm gonna break you, Dave. <laughs> okay. Come on, nope. Nope. I'm, I'm hitting A. Are you joking? This is gonna be easier than the time I shoved the potato up your mother's ass. Yep. Two faggots from Go. Come on, baby. Are you? Oh my god. I hit A, but as soon as you got out of the thing, that freaking hits you. And you're already in the motion. There's no, like, dodging it right when he hits you, so. 
You just We're gonna hit. give you a little time to think about what you've done. Dang. Could you relax? You're Close like 60 yourself. I wish I could go back and win that fight because I probably I needed to win that. So O'Neill almost took my head off, but I made a stand. Let me tell you something. When you're inside, it counts for a lot more than you might think. Cool, cool, cool. Two days later. How long are yeah, you there planning he on is. keeping him in here? I figured long it would be. enough to learn his lesson. That's gonna have to change. He in any shape to fight. Should be. Boys didn't knock him around too bad after the brawl in the yard. All right, open it up. Rise and shine, Skeletta. You got yourself a visitor. My name is Leo Galante. I heard you wanted to speak to me. Yeah. Uh, one of Clemente's guys said I should contact you. Said maybe you could help me out. Oh, fuck Clemente. I don't provide protection for his guys in here. But I saw how you handled that mick who's after you, O'Neill. He could prove useful. Come with me, boy. <clears throat> so we'll be now listen pretty up, much fellas. fighting. This is Vito. He's gonna be helping us out. Peppy here's got a big fight coming up against O'Neill. He needs a sparring partner. When I saw of you out there in the yard, you're just the man for the job. You're gonna help us out, kid. In return, you'll be under my protection. And who knows, maybe you'll even learn a thing or two along the way. I guess I can't say no to that offer, huh? I don't remember asking. All right, fellas. Let's get this show on the road. Okay. So I gotta spar with this guy. Okay. Today we're gonna work on your counterpunching. Vito, I want you to hit Pepe. Try and bust that big jaw of his. Pepe, you avoid the punch like I showed you. Then use that momentum to throw a punch of your own. All right, fellas. Let's get going. Atta boy, Pepe. Hold the jaw dodge. Keep that oversized chin of yours Okay, down, so Pepe. hold. Oh, oh now we can start doing that. Dude, when we were in the yard, we couldn't do it. And once hey, you got hit, you just got hit. We supposed to be sparring or training? Change of plans, big fella. This kid's got fire in him. So now you're both gonna practice your counter punches. All right, Vito. See if you can do that again. It's a handy tool to have in the box, huh? And most guys ain't gonna see it coming. Peppy here, <laughs> he ain't most guys, though. Okay. Just gotta dodge again. Nice, kid. Nice. nice Give me two more of those. Oh, shit, that All hurt. right, one more, Vito. Go. Boom. There you go. You're a fast learner, kid. All right, fellas, that's enough for today. Nice work. Okay. So, how close did you get to Clemente, Vito? Actually, I never met him. I always dealt with either Henry Tomasino or Luca <clears throat> Garino. Huh. I can't believe that cocksucker Garino's still breathing. What was your deal with him? Uh, well, you know, we did a couple jobs for him, and, uh... Luca said he'd bring us into the family for, uh, five grand. What? Typical fucking Alberto. He's always been a crooked bastard. Uh... So what is that, like, more than usual? Yeah, like five grand more than usual. You don't gotta pay to get in, Vito. You're brought into the family once you prove that you're loyal, a good earner. And you can handle... <laughs> you know, the life. In any case, this is an interesting piece of news. When this gets out, Alberto and Luca are gonna have a lot of explaining to do. Oh, jeez. Don't worry about that. We'll talk about it some other time. Okay. So we, he was trying to freaking cheap us. Not cheap us, but uh, get our money. Get to the other guys and, or oh, leave the gym. Okay, so we can go. I only don't care about the other guys. Talk hey, to me. Doing? Name's yeah, Vito. That's Sam, how you doing? All right, well, I guess we can just talk to everybody How's real quick. Galanti know so much about Keep it up. Never know by looking at him now. Oh, the job with that asshole Neil. Nice. Damn good one, Next too. time, no do us all shit. a favor yeah, and snap the prick's neck, would you? Knuckle matches before he went pro. I'm just glad he organizes hey. these fights. Oh. Hey, how's it going? How you doing, Vito? You know? Name's Sal. Hey, nice work in the ring. Right? <laughs> Trying to, like, make sure everyone's friendly, you know? You'll be ready for a real fight. All right, cool, cool. Let's go. Leave the gym. 
Watch where you walk, Guaylo. Maybe if your eyes were all the way open, you would have seen me coming, asshole. Galante. Crooked white devil. Nice to see you too, Mr. Wu. Crooked? You bet on your own guy and he lost. That's the way it works in this country. Then Wu offer you rematch. I think I can arrange that. You up to it, Vito? Chinaman, huh? Yeah, get him a stepladder and send him over. All right, Wu. Looks like you got yourself a rematch. <laughs> and none of that chop suey crap this time. Okay. But we just learned how to do that one thing. Now listen, these chinks are quick little bastards. No point in throwing big punches early on. You'll never connect. Okay. All right. What am I supposed to do then? You hit him quick and tire him out. When he's weak, he'll put his guard down. Then you swing for the fences. Now get out there and show him what you're made of. Got it, got it. So hey, quick jabs. After your guy for breakfast? <laughs> we need to win this. We gotta win it. Because if we don't, we're gonna look stupid in front of freaking old man over there. Here we go. Oh. That's what I'm talking about. Ooh, I got me there. Boom. Go on. Do it again. Oh, he came to the one, two, three. Come on now. His master will not be happy. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on, you little baldy. There we go. Boom! Got him! What are you doing? Lose to Quilo Dishonorable! I'm gonna knock him out. Come on. Boom! Oh, he got a quick on that one! Come on. Babe, give it to me. Yep. Stay down, dude. Thank you. Boom. I hit a few times, but. Tygo style. <laughs> All right. We, we proved ourselves. That's what we really wanted to do. We didn't want to lose that. We could lose that. Let's go, Scaletta. You're late for work. Hey, follow the guard. Waiting for you, dummy. Now we're under, we're under protection now, so that's really good. And we proved ourselves that we can fight, so... Okay. I think we fought O'Neal earlier. I think that was like a test. Um, I think we had to lose it, to be honest. Or it actually didn't really matter. Vito here's got the day off, courtesy of Mr. Galante. Gotcha. Don't get used to it, Scaletta. All right. Come with me, Vito. Go. Follow the Galante's man. What, are we going to train some more? Uh, sort of. You'll see. Okay. Fall on you, my God. We're behind you. Galante. Oh, man. Like I call him. Morning, kid. Morning, Mr. Galante. Why no training today? Not exactly. We got a challenge from the spooks, and I don't want to risk Peppy getting all banged up before his big fight with O'Neill. So I want you to take this one. It'll be good practice for you. Come on. Okay, so we're fighting again? Jeez. Now, the guy you're going to be fighting is a strong bastard, but he ain't too bright. Fights with his heart, not his head. You piss him off, you lower his guard. That's when you let him have it. All right, here we go. Make me proud, kid. Hey, this is going to be a hard one, I'm sure. Looky here, I'ma take this skinny ass white boy to school. Gonna hit him so hard his mama's mama gonna feel it. Hope you meatballs getting ready to lose. Hey, win or lose, it'll probably be the hardest work this bum ever did in his life. Up. Oh. We got some really good punch. That's, what, that's what I'm talking about. I don't think so. Oh, hit him like on, seven times. <laughs> 
grab him and finish him. All right. Now put his life. Bow. Yeah. That was so easy. That rubbing me on the ring and started hitting him, Hell jabbing him. Here's your cut, Vito. Just, we you did some, did some real freaking damage there. The hex is coming. Hey, now what do we do? What the hell is this? Some kind of circle jerk? All right, come on, Scaletta. You got a visitor. We had a, wait, we had a visitor waiting for you. For us. Wait. Okay. Is that mom? Hi, Vito. Hey, oh, Frankie. It's, oh, it's our sister. How you doing? I'm doing good. Real good. Thanks. So, uh, how's things? Well, I, I got something to tell you. I'm getting married, Vito. Oh, Maron, that's great. I mean, it would have been nice if he asked my permission first, but... Hey, I'm happy for you. Vito, you're in jail. Look at yourself. Uh, how'd you let this happen? Hey, I already got a lecture from the judge, huh? I don't need another one. Just... Just drop it, all right? Vito, there's something else. It's Mama. What do you mean? What about her? She's sick, Vito. She's been like this for weeks and she's not getting any better. Look, Frankie. Go to Joe's. He's holding on to my money for me. You get her the best doctor you can find. And, uh... You keep the rest as a wedding gift. Vito... No, no, I mean it. Looks like I'm not gonna need it for a while. All right, looks like I gotta go. Uh, look, you take care of Ma. Tell her I love her. I will. And thanks, Vito. Bye. Dang. So now we're in jail, or prison, and our mom's sick. Let's go, Stiletta. Those turlets ain't gonna clean themselves. Turlets. Them turlets aren't gonna clean themselves. Okay, follow the guard. We like just pretty much just do our chores around here. Just fine, but it kind of sucks. Ugh. Feel like I'm about to get my ass beat. I think so. Pretty sure I'm about to get my ass freaking kicked. Set up. So, you're the new cleaning lady, huh? Follow me. I th I think we are. Yo, practice that shit someplace else. Come on, man, you're killing me. Jesus, you're singing is the second worst thing that happened to be in here. Make them sparkle and hurry up. Mess. Hey. Pipe down now, Alias. Relax, fellas. Just give the old fight to work out. I'm gonna give your face a workout. All right, all right, Jigs. You guys got no culture. <laughs> Clean it up. Boom. Go to the next one. We just gotta clean these two. The other one, did that one toilet over here in the stall was completely freaking. What's the matter? Are you Keep serious? Cleaning or else. I just cleaned that, dude. Just cleaned it. Oh, bruh. Extremely freaking dis dis disrespectful. Hey, looks like this one's still dirty. You son Clean of it a... again. Oh. I swear to God, if I get done with this again, you you take another pee on it. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna backhand you. I'm gonna open palm me, freaking hit you in your stupid face. Okay. All right, that's enough. This now is what I was talking about, though. Though. The the Guess what? It's broken. Get moving. All right, Scaletta. Get your clothes off and get cleaned up. Would you kindly? Absolutely. Yeah, I'm under protection from Galetta, so... Or Galante, sorry. Um, so... Actually, we're doing that. We're doing pretty decent. Oh, man. That would just suck.
What's the hold up here? Move your asses. Hey, Frankie. We got a little business to take care of here, huh? Why don't you go have a smoke? <laughs> yeah, sure. Have your fun, you sick bastards. Yeah, he looks like a he's built like an M&M. &M. I like your scars, pretty boy. Where'd you get them? Sorry, asshole. You picked the wrong ass to drill. We can do this the easy way, or the hard way. Your choice. I got a better idea. Why don't you go fuck your buddies instead? Or better yet, go fuck yourself. Okay. I'm about to. I'm about to. I guess you want it rough. I'm about to beat your ass, Eminem boy. <laughs> Come here. Okay. Come on. Hurry up, John. You ain't got long. Do that again. I did. Oh, this guy's a fighter, huh? Yep. Don't get these hands on him. Ooh, that was a this big one. Been so much easier. Come on. Yep. Boom! Boom! Kept that one, one, one. Guy got another one. Another dude freaking dipped out on you, huh? That's all right. I'll give you your ass whooping too. Yep. You ready for that nonsense? Boom. Keep hitting with these. I'm gonna keep hitting with you till you get, till you get used to it. Woo! Ah! Uh. Yep. Hey, hey! Whoa, whoa! What the hell's going on? Where's Frank? They're gonna beat my ass because I'm the one standing. It's not that. Boy, you know the drill. It's horse oh, crap. And, uh, What's defense? Today. Might want to read it. Looks important. Self-defense, I'm the one getting in trouble for it. Like, they're trying to raping me, bro. What's it, what's it read? No, 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 fuck! Mama what died while Francesca was visiting me. Instead of going toward a good doctor and a wedding gift, every penny I had went to the funeral. Oh my god. Mr. Galante wants to talk to you. Come with me. Man. This chapter is a freaking doozy, son. Good to have you back, kid. What the hell happened? It looks like the mix weren't up for a fair fight. A couple of them jumped Pepe yesterday. There's a fight lot more again? than a couple. Yeah, well, we sure as hell ain't gonna let this go. What do you got in mind? Pepe's got it all worked out. Took a little persuading, but O'Neill's all by himself right now in the gym. Guards won't be back for a while. Mm -hmm. You're just gonna give him a good beating, break a couple of bones, same as they did to me. Got it? Absolutely. Yeah, I got it. All right, come with me. Break a leg, kid. Literally. I'll wait out here. If the guards get back early, I'll warn you. Okay. All right, go for it. You do that? But to beat some ass with the- I'm gonna take that thing and beat across your head. Hey, O'Neal. I got a little business to settle with you. Just the man I wanted to see. All right. Where, boy? Come here, Mary. Yep. Again, harder. Nice shot, Talking about? Mary. Oh, dude, you're oh, pissing me know. off. This hits hard, no bro. to save you this time. Me ma used to hit harder than that. Dude, he, he hits so hard. This time I'll finish you. I don't think so. Oh, yep. Is that Come all on. you've got? Try again, little man. Dude, he hits so hard. I'm Come on. not gonna be so Come on. gentle this time. Give it to me. Yes. 
<sighs> Jesus, what the fuck are you made of? Oh, you'll have to do better than that, little girl. Oh my that, god, we're about, to, we're, about to, we're about to go down ourselves. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Come on. Just slow and steady. Slow and steady. Oh my god, he hits. Dude, he hits so hard. Uh oh. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go. Shut the fuck up. Oh my god. It all worked out just fine. They never found out who did it. Leo arranged for me to relocate to his cell. Well, actually, it was more like a suite. Life was getting better by the minute. So, Dude. Vito, what do you plan on doing when you get out of this shithole? I don't know. I sure as hell ain't gonna go back to work on for Clemente, I can tell you that. Yeah, you're better off just forgetting about that old bastard. Trust me. Alberto's a real cocksucker, and you can bet that lawyer he's hired was just there to make sure you didn't rat. But don't worry. You'll get his. Letting guys into your family for money like he offered you is against the rules. He's gonna have a lot of explaining to do. To who? I thought Clemente was the boss. You obviously don't know how things work around here. You see, there's more than one family in Empire Bay. There's three. Each family controls their own neighborhoods. There's a system of rules. And if there's any disagreements, the bosses of all the families meet to work things out. That's the commission. Great, so what do I do now? Am I in trouble too? No, 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 no. nothing like that. You're young, you're smart, and you've proven you can keep your mouth shut. You're exactly the type of guy everybody wants working for him. Yeah, but I don't even know who these other guys are. There's two other bosses besides Clemente. One is Carlo Falcone. The other is Frank Vinci. Carlo is young and ambitious. Yeah, the guy's a freaking nut job. He's new blood. Whereas Don Vinci is a man of honor. He respects the old ways. You know these guys? <laughs> you could say that. And Frank Vinci is consigliere. You think being just a regular old man gets you all this? But listen, Vito. I'm getting out in a few months. When I do, you'll see what we can do about adjusting your sentence. Pepe, come here. Have a taste. My gosh, dude. This this chapter was freaking really good. Like, they really put it in some freaking plot twists and, like, really just made it heavy. <laughs> Mom died, we came in, all that nonsense. That's crazy. Chapter 7. Really remember Francisco Potenza. All right, guys, this is where we're gonna end chapter six. This is gonna be the uh, episode number four, I think, of uh, Mafia Two Definitive Edition. If you guys enjoyed, it, make sure you guys do the YouTube thing, like, comment, subscribe, and share with your friends. Always, guys, I'm just joining. I'll be seeing you guys in the next episode of Mafia Two, Modern Warfare Two, and Man Eater, and all the things we got coming in the future. Bye. See you guys soon.